If you're looking for another beautiful way to finish off your hand embroidery piece, you can mount it on card and then finish it with this edge stitch. It's really unusual, but nice way to finish your piece. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So there are lots of different ways that you can finish your hand embroidery pieces. But today, I'm gonna to show you how you can finish it with this little edge stitch. It looks almost like a braid going around the piece, but it's actually stitching. So I've used this in these two pieces, which are little Christmas ornaments, but you can use this with any size of embroidery. It also looks good whether you use a single color thread like this or a variegated thread. That gives it another fun look. So to do this, you're gonna need, first of all, your embroidery, and you need your embroidery to be mounted on a piece of card. So to do this, you can follow my tutorial that I have for backing your embroidery with felt and mount it on card the same way, but then just don't put the felt on. Start, stop partway through the tutorial and then mount another piece of fabric on card to be the backing. So you're gonna have two pieces that will go together. Once you have those, then you're just gonna need some thread and a needle and you're ready to begin. If you have clips or clothespins, that will help hold your two pieces together while you stitch. So line them up in the orientation that you want and then clip them together. Then use a long thread, thread it onto a sharp needle and put a knot in the end. Bring the thread up and from the inside so that the knot is buried in between the two pieces. Take a stitch from right to left between both pieces about a quarter inch away from where you started. Then go back and take another stitch right above where you started, again stitching from right to left through both layers. Continue to take stitches through both layers, ahead and back directly above the previous stitch. You'll notice this is forming cross stitches that overlap with each other. If you are left-handed, you could stitch all your stitches from left to right instead of right to left, and that will still be fine. Continue stitching this way all around the piece till you get back to where you started. When you get back to where you started, the last few stitches you will have to stitch into the stitches that are already there to form the overlap. When you're done, take the end of the thread underneath the backing fabric to finish it off. The stitch makes a beautiful frame for your embroidery piece. So that's how easy it is to do. Let me know if you think that is a nice way to finish off your embroidery piece. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, check out ebitastudio.com.